Hello, welcome to day four of the challenge. So for this day of the challenge, we're using the protein that we prepared yesterday. So I explained yesterday that a lot of times what I like to do is while I'm cooking something, I will put something else in my air fryer, in my oven, on the stovetop, get one other element going to be a meal starter for a future recipe. So I'm making two recipes today. I actually already made one. I'm gonna show you how I make the other one and you're gonna see exactly how lazy I am as a healthy, trim healthy mama chef, if you will. So the ground beef that I made yesterday, I took the ground beef and I already did this one just because I didn't wanna be cooking the entire time um, or for hours on video for you guys. Um, but what I did is Pioneer Woman has a lot of recipes that I adapt for THM and that I have since the beginning. So she has a taco shells and cheese recipe that my kids love, absolutely love, but there's a lot of off plain ingredients in it. So what I did is I take her recipe where she calls for um, regular pasta shells. I put Dreamfields pasta in. Where she calls for milk, I did half heavy cream, half water. And where she calls for Velveeta fake cheese, I just used cubed Colby Jack. So I just switched to make all of the ingredients on plan, S-friendly ingredients, and I made this um, taco shells and cheese. Now, I ended up doing this last night, the same day that I made the ground beef, because um, I just kind of ran out of time and was trying to think of what would be good. It's a quick recipe, so I made it fast. Um, but this, I have a full container of leftovers. Now, the thing with Dreamfield's pasta is I don't eat it more than once a week. So I had it last night, and I actually am eating dairy right now. I don't typically do that either. So I will save the rest of this for my kiddos to have these leftovers, but this is what I did with the ground beef. And it was perfect last night and a perfect example of why this is important. Because if you are, if you have protein ready to go and protein needs to be the base of your THM meals, last night I was in a rush and I thought, okay, what can I make in about 20 minutes? Oh, I have that ground beef ready. I just made it today. Great, I made the taco shells and cheese. I put the pasta on to boil, made the sauce while the pasta was cooking. It took me about 15 minutes to put this recipe together. And it's really tasty too. It has like rotel and ground beef and seasoning and then the cheese sauce and you just mix it all together. It's so good and easy. Um, if anybody's interested, I remake recipes all the time from popular um, cooking show host. So if anybody's interested in more of like revamping Pioneer Woman's recipes to make them teach them friendly, I'm not going to repost the recipe for you, but I'll tell, send you to her website and give you instructions to do that if anybody's interested. I don't know. But that's a family favorite, super delicious, super easy and good. And that's what I made with that ground beef last night. Having it handy in the fridge was perfect. If you, again, if you make a meal element to use later, you could pull it out of your fridge or freezer and have dinner halfway done. That's kind of the goal. Have some steps taken to have a meal almost prepared and then finish it when you're ready. That's what I did with the ground beef. I also showed you guys that I had gotten, pull the sticker off, um, some rotisserie shredded chicken. Just, it's pre-shredded. You can just buy a rotisserie chicken. I was just in a huge rush and just grabbed this when I was by the door the other day at Sprouts. Um, but just get a rotisserie chicken, shred it yourself, that's fine. If you haven't seen the trick to shred chicken quickly and easily, I will pull it all off the bone, stick it in my KitchenAid mixer with the paddle attachment, and just run it for a minute, and it shreds the chicken so fast, you don't have to sit there with two forks doing it. So it's pretty quick and easy. So this is my super easy, this recipe is going up at the Well Plant Kitchen probably later this week or next week. Um, I like to play with food combinations a lot. So what I have here is spaghetti squash, and I'm gonna show you, I already pulled it out so I didn't have to do that on camera. Um, I cut it into strips like this big, and I put it in the air fryer. So I did one section already, I have the other one going, this is what I'm talking about. I, and we had to unload groceries from the car. So I just quickly sliced the spaghetti squash, put a piece of it in the air fryer. I did it at 365 for about 20 minutes with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. Stuck it in there. By the time I was done unloading groceries, the, and I have enough kids, like they should have just done it for me now that I'm thinking about it, but no, I'm happy to help, just kidding. Um, so I, I got one section in and then I came in and had to set up for the, doing this video so I put the other section in so I will have more than double this in this pan when I'm done 
but I'm just going to show you what I do. So I, I pulled out the um, spaghetti squash and shredded, shredded, like pulled it apart with fork, fork. So I've got a big, you know, thing and I'll have double this. So I will add the other spaghetti squash when that's done in the air fryer. Okay. Then what I do, you're going to blow your mind with an amazing recipe. Just kidding. This is so easy. I'll just take, I wash my hands. Don't worry. Take a big handful of this pulled chicken. Just drop it right on top. There's already salt and pepper and olive oil in this. I will pull out a whole bunch, like a whole container of feta cheese on there. Then I will, oh, I lost the little shaker thing. So I will do it in my hand instead. Again, I'm not the classiest chef here. And just sprinkle oregano all over. I'll stick it in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes until the cheese is just like soft and it's all kind of melty. Now the trick with spaghetti squash, I do mine, I, like I said, at 360 in the air fryer with a little bit of salt and pepper for about 20 minutes. Sometimes that's not enough, so I'll stick it back in for another 10. My preferred method though is to do it in sections like this, like I showed you, and do it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. I just thought my my oven's been making my smoke detector go off so it was really just an annoyance factor today that i wanted to get it going in the air fryer all i do toss this up i've got the salt and pepper in there i've got the olive oil i've got the chicken i've got the feta so this is how many ingredients if you don't call count the salt and pepper this is like a three ingredient dish four ingredient dish you've got the um spaghetti squash the chicken the feta and the oregano Put it in a casserole dish, bake it for a little while, while so it's all kind of gooey, the feta cheese is gooey. I have a super, super healthy Greek spaghetti squash dinner ready to go. I'm telling you, and you saw me. Like I had that going while I was doing other stuff. I came in here, just dumped it all in, stirred it up, it just takes a couple of minutes. And then I can stick it back in the oven while the kids are setting the table tonight, get it all melty and gooey. That's another meal that I made so whether I had bought this chicken pre-made or done it myself as a prep task while I was making dinner, super quick and easy. The goal is, and this is something that we cover ad nauseum in boot camp. The goal is to make THM always be your easiest option. If food at home is going to be pretty quick and easy, if you can make something pretty quickly, you're that much less likely to order a pizza or eat off plan. So let's say, what else could I do with this ground beef? I could have done actually the same spaghetti squash thing. I could have, instead of chicken and um, feta cheese and oregano, I could have tossed it with that ground beef from yesterday and added some spaghetti sauce. Just a couple minutes. That's so quick and easy. I could have made a, um, I could have done ground beef with some of like cumin and chili powder. Am I saying that wrong? I feel like I always say that spice wrong. Or even some chipotle lime seasoning or fajita seasoning or something like that. Topped it with shredded cheddar and had Mexican spaghetti squash. So these are, and by the way, these are all recipes going up at the wellplannedkitchen.com really soon. That's why I'm able to just spit them out because there's a ton of combinations you can make with this. So, and I'm actually, I've made a printable worksheet for you guys. Keep an eye on your email inbox. That's going to go up on the website later this week with a bunch of ideas for taking these kinds of noodles or like spaghetti squash or zucchini or any kind of noodles and just adding ingredients to make a quick, super quick and easy THM meal in just a couple minutes. But the goal here is to make it simple, make it easy. Don't make recipes with tons of ingredients unless you have a ton of time. If you don't have a lot of time, do something simple like this, but your meal starters that you have, which would be, and it doesn't have to be a meat. So a meal starter could be like having a bag of shredded cheese in the fridge. Um, it could be cottage cheese could be a meal starter for you. If you know, okay, I've got cottage cheese, then you've got Waldorf, Waldorf um, salad from the THM cookbook. If you have hard boiled eggs, you can make egg salad or deviled eggs. You have to maybe think outside the box a little bit, but think of creative ways to use things that you already have shredded, things that you already have prepared, things that you can buy from the store already done and put them in a meal quickly and easily. So I hope this makes sense to you again. My next steps with this is gonna be just to put the rest of the spaghetti squash in there. I'm gonna cover it with foil and refrigerate it um, and pop it in the oven just later. And while we're setting the table, it will be getting all gooey and melty and delicious. And then we will be having our Greek spaghetti squash. 
Um, if you are interested in more of these converted recipes like this taco shells, let me know from other bloggers I get. I will not repost any of their content, but I can tell you how to go to their website and make it more THM friendly. There's also a lot of that that happens in boot camp. If you sign up for boot camp, you'll be getting a lot of tips and strategies like that. So I hope this was helpful. This is our protein. Tomorrow we're making dessert and I will see you there. Bye.